Hi friends, it's Amber. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a really quick and fun project. Actually, I have two of them for you. And I have been making these little seed pouches forever using my scraps. And I think I showed them in a video like a long time ago, but I wanted to come on and do kind of like a revamped tutorial. It's so easy, I kind of feel silly even doing it, but I wanted to share it with you. Um, so I'm making these cute little, I call them little pouches or seed pockets. And it's just using your scraps and you don't need any special tools for this. And here's what the back looks like. I use washi tape. It's a good way to use your washi tape if you don't have a lot of use for the washi tape that comes with these collections. So this is the She's Magic Collection by Dear Lizzie. And I've been trying to work my way through this. And just a little side note, I've, I've filmed an entire video on how I killed the rest of this collection. Um, and these are the scraps I have left over. But the video, I got so frustrated with it because the video just like got corrupt or something on my SD card and I literally gave up. So I have to refilm the tutorial portion, but let me give you a sneak peek of some stuff that I made with it. I'm so excited. So these are the pockets right here that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. They're like little library pockets or seed pockets, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then I put one on the back cover too. So this one's like a little short chubby one. So that's what we're going to be learning how to make today. It's super easy. And then I have another pouch little pocket um, at the end of the video that I'm going to show you. So, so this is going to be two different projects, um, but they're quick and easy. So let's go ahead and get started. Here. Okay, so first to make these little cute guys here, it's you can make it with single-sided paper, double-sided, whatever you have. You just need some scrapbook paper and washi tape. And so when I was making my cards for this collection, which if you missed that video, I'll link it here. I made a bunch of cards and envelopes. And then I also made those junk journals um, that I'm going to show you in another video. But I generated like this size of scrap from the 12 by 12 paper. And instead of getting your scoreboard out and all that, these little pockets right here are so easy. And instead of gluing the sides, um, I use washi tape. So that way the pocket doesn't lose any of the room inside. Because if you glue them, you lose about like a quarter to a half of an inch on each side. And you can only put like a skinny little card in there. So I just cut these down to size and stuck them in there. But you can stick more stuff in there. You can even, on this one I did it, you can score this and close it like a little coin envelope. So I did that on this one. Um, but these ones I kind of left just to glue down into like the front of an album, like a library pocket. So let me show you. These are so easy. You just take your like long scraps like this and they can be any size you can cut them to be shorter and let's use this one and you just eyeball it so i'm going to turn it this way and you just kind of fold it up until you have the width of the little flap up here that you want so again just eyeball it fold it in half you can use your bone folder if you want and you're almost done so then if you want to close the flap i like to kind of just press this down with my bone holder a little bit so you can bend it like this so it'll be like a cute little coin envelope uh, but if you don't want to do that you don't have to and then I like to round these corners I use my we are memory keepers corner chomper and I use the half inch side that's just optional you can do that or you don't have to and then of course you know I'm not going to do a project without a little notch. So I just take this circle punch right here, go about a third to a half of the way down and just punch a little half circle like this. So it looks like a true coin envelope or seed pocket. And then you just have to seal the side. So you could put this in your sewing machine if you want. That'd be super easy for those of you who sew. Or this is what I do. I use washi tape and I know washi tape sometimes isn't permanent. Well, it's never permanent. Um, so I've got these here and I'm just going to choose the one. I think that's pretty. So what I do is I take my adhesive. My husband just got home with a loud, sorry. So what I do just so it's permanent is I take a quarter inch, um, 
score tape or you can use your ATG gun and I just run it right along the edge here just like that and then peel it up then I take my washi tape and I'm gonna just put half of it on the front of this little pocket so it's gonna cover that quarter inch because most washi tape is about a half an inch and then I'm just going to lay that over where I had the score tape and then just turn it over cut off the washi tape and then add another strip of that score tape and you could totally use your ATG gun for this it'll be quicker mine just ran out of the the refill so I gotta go pick some up um, but score tape is nice and strong so then just grab that right up and then close the washi so easy right and this will seal the pocket and you lose no room inside the pocket so then I just take it and I need to, if you need to trim it a little bit down here to clean it up and then just kind of look up there and then just take your bone folder and press it down and then you have a permanent closure on this see isn't that cute so then just do the exact same thing for this side or coin envelope or seed pocket or I actually call it a library pocket too but you can call it whatever you want but it's super easy here it is and then what I did is I used more of the scraps on these ones just to cut out a little card to slip in there and so all you have to do for that is just measure how wide and how tall your envelope is so I'm just gonna measure it here on my craft mat so it's three and a half by by five and a quarter and you can round the corners on this to make it more finished um, or just stick it in there like for a little journaling card if you want to put this on like the inside of an album you could write your little note on here and slip it in there and then it shows through right there same with this one I think that's so cute so those are the little cute coin envelopes, seed pockets, whatever you want to call them, but they're used with no special tools, just some washi tape and your scraps. So since I'm pretty much obsessed with making these right now and I want to have a bunch in my stash, I'm going to take the rest of my scraps here and make some more. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and let's go ahead and start the second pocket that I have for today's video. Okay, so these second cute little pouches are totally inspired by my new favorite channel, Septaria18. I talked about her in a couple of my previous videos. Her name is Sandy and she is incredible with paper. She's so creative and very talented. She's got an Etsy shop, so I'm gonna link her channel below. You can go check her out. But this little ephemera pouch was very inspired by her because she used something different than what I'm using, but I really wanted a project to use up a bunch of these, I call them Target Clear Pockets. They're adhesive square label pockets, and what they are is basically, so if you don't know about these, they were at Target in the dollar spot. You get 20 for $3, and they're these adhesive, like vinyl pockets. So this is a little clear, like kind of like a library pocket. There's the pocket part right there. But they're adhesive on the back. They were in like the teacher back to school section, but us crafters were using them for like junk journals and mini albums and people weren't able to get their hands on some. So I stocked up and I have so, so, so many and I really want a project to use them up. So I'm making these cute little ephemera pockets. I can't remember what Sandy called these little things when she made them. She may have called them ephemera pockets or goodie pockets or something like that. but. She definitely inspired this and I want to thank her so much for her amazing 
videos. So again, I'm going to link Sandy's channel below, but let me show you what this looks like. And if you have a bunch of these clear pockets, you could totally mass produce a bunch of these little pockets. So I made this with scrapbook paper and those little pockets, and then I filled it with goodies. So I used an eyelet and a circle punch here, and then it just opens like this. And here's the clear pocket. I put it on the paper. Hopefully, hopefully you can make that out. And I just put a bunch of goodies in here. So here's the actual pocket that I made. Here's the back. And I glued this little flap up just to be kind of decorative. And you can just fit all kinds of goodies inside that clear vinyl sleeve. So I just made some little journaling cards. And I'm going to tell you what to cut these down to during the tutorial. So those just can slip back in there. And then I made a cute little gift pouch right here just to add some goodies in here for a pen pal. So I put a heart paper clip on there, a cute little die cut from the collection, and then it's just in this little pouch. So I stuck some ephemera in there just from the collection and then another extra paper clip. And here's the cute little pouch. I'll show you how to make this too. It was super easy. So I just put some goodies in there and this is a great way to gift little ephemera pieces to your pen pal. Or if you want to put like money in there and give it to um, friends and family as a gift, just to add to a card, it could, you could just pop this little thing right inside a card. It would be super cute, but I'm going to stick that back in the pocket. And then I had to watch Sandy's video several times because, you know, me and these little twisty things. But um, I'm just using some embroidery thread to close it. And then it just goes like this. And there's the cute little ephemera pocket. So let me show you how to make one of these. They're super, super easy. So I'm using double-sided paper. It looks a lot cuter that way because you can see both sides, but if you only have single-sided paper, you can use that. But I'm using a piece of double-sided scrapbook paper that measures three and a half by six. So you can use your six by six paper pads for this. And here's what the back looks like. And then I'm using one of the Target Clear Pockets. So to save time for the video, I went ahead and peeled my pocket off of that paper and I added score tape to just the sides and the bottom. So this will just make sure that it stays and it'll stay secure um, on there. So I'm just gonna peel off my score tape. So with your three and a half by six piece, you wanna decide what part you want showing the most, which is like this pink side here, see? So I definitely want the blue, pretty blue floral on the outside, so I'm gonna flip it upside down. And I'm gonna take my little pouch here, make sure it's right side up where the pocket is here. And I'm gonna put this one inch shy from the bottom. So I'm just using my craft mat. You can use a ruler if you don't have one of these craft mats, but they're really handy for this. So I'm just gonna place this one inch shy from the bottom. And these are three and a half inches wide, so they're gonna be right flush with the edge of the paper. And then just take your bone folder and gently burnish that on there, especially those edges. So now you have it adhered to your paper. This is so easy. Then just turn it and I like to take my bone folder and just crease right there where I'm going to be folding that up. Do the same thing on the top. So I'm taking my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper using the quarter inch side and just rounding the bottom two corners and the top two corners. So now I'm just going to fold this up against there gently. And this right here is gonna fold right up like that. And we're gonna glue it down. Okay, so I've got that covered with score tape. And whenever you use score tape, you wanna burnish it really well with your bone folder so all the glue stays on the paper. Alright, so now that I've got my score tape on there, I'm just going to go ahead and glue that down. So that gives it a really cute look on the bottom. So now up here, just where you kind of 
Score that with your bone folder. Fold it over gently. With any type of scrap of your paper, just cut a one inch circle out or whatever size circle you have. So I have this one inch circle punch and I'm just gonna punch a one inch circle out and take your hole punch and I'm gonna do a little eyelet right here like I did on this one. It's because we all know what happened when I tried to sew a button on one of my last videos. I'm not trying that again. So I'm going to take an eyelet and I have these We Are Memory Keepers eyelets here. Okay, so let's see if this is green. I've got a really pretty like springy green. So then I'm just going to use my We, we Are Memory Keepers uh, Cropodile and I'm going to punch the 3 16th hole because that's the eyelet I have. I'm going to post I'll post a link to these below. They're kind of hard to find sometimes. So I love this tool. You can totally use just a um, regular hole punch if you want, but this does everything for you. So then you take your little flap and just eyeball the center and do the same size hole. And then just stick that in there. And see, let's see if it'll focus. So see there's the where it sticks through. You just take this part of your corn of your crocodile and it sets it for you and there's like a little magnet so it catches and then you just chomp and now you've got your eyelet set okay so now we've got our cute little closure working here so now we're gonna put a couple goodies on the inside and so that little um, cute pouch that I made I, so I basically didn't measure anything just take a scrap of paper so I'll tell you the measurement on this one so that way you can use this measurement so this one is four and three quarters by three and a half okay so take a pay so take a piece that measures four and three quarters by three and a half and then just turn it around and approximately fold in an inch you don't have to measure and then bring the other side and meet it about so it's a quarter of an inch past that edge so this one's going to be a little bigger than the one i made in there but this is pretty much how you would make these without a scoreboard so so this is what we have so far. We kind of have like three little folds here. And then take the bottom and fold up like a half an inch. And again, this is all just eyeballing. So then just take the entire thing and open it up. And you're just gonna take your scissors, okay? And you're gonna, there's, after you fold all these, there's like a little panel right here and a little panel over here. You're just going to cut it straight across on that score line and then down here you're going to cut it in at an angle. Same thing over here, you're going to cut out this panel, cut it in on that like fold line and then cut it in at an angle. Sorry if I'm not in frame. I hope I was in frame for that but basically we just cut this little panel out and this little panel at an angle. So then you just want to close this up and I just use wet glue right here right on the edge just to get a little line of glue there and then I close it up and then go down here and just add the adhesive of your choice I just have wet glue here and close that up so you're just basically making a tiny little gift pouch so there's your cute little pouch and then I have these decorative scissors to give it like a little cute edge. So I'm just going to use that. I have a whole bunch of these and these are like so cute. So I'm going to link the little set that I have of these below. I use them all the time. So here's our cute little gift bag. And now you can fit ephemera in there. And I just have a few pieces left for this collection I can slip some in there like some flowers maybe. Then I'll put one of those on there. A little ticket stub. How cute. And then maybe a bird. And then I'll include a paper clip. And then I have 
have these little paper clips too. Okay, so now you just fill up your cute little pouch with all the goodies. So there's our cute little gift pouch. So just set that aside. And then for in here, so I just cut two scrap pieces down to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. And I'm just gonna stick those in there. They go, you can cut as many of these as you want. So three and a quarter by three and a quarter. Stick those down in there. And then I'm gonna stick my cute little pouch on the top. So there it is, all filled up. And then you just close this like this. I'm just gonna take it behind the little circle, just twist it in there. And then you can just close this. So then you just tie it up like that. I think it's so super cute. I really love how these turned out and I just wanna thank Sandy so much for the inspiration. I hope that you guys will take this idea and see what you have in your stash and make it your own. This would be super cute to make for like a swap or something or some flat mail because it's pretty flat. Um, but I think these are so adorable and they've got the goodies inside there with the little gift pouches. You can make endless amounts of these, especially me because I'm hoarding these little pockets. <laughs> so, and you know we all have a lot of scraps of scrapbook paper. So I hope that you will give these a try. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I had so much fun filming it and creating these pockets. Don't forget to check out Sandy's channel. I'll have it linked below. And you could seriously turn some scraps into some really cute projects. I hope that you guys will give it a try. Have a great week, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!